Welcome back, my dear viewer, as we continue this conversation on how we are preparing our Form 1 to get uh, into their schools and even set them up for success. Now, as we go along, you can see we have very important points that we need to note. And there's even a parent here who is telling me, uh -huh, thank you very much for this conversation. I've been on a frantic race mm. trying to you know, get into this, like she's saying. Sure. But now I can prepare very calmly and now I can take slow and sure steps towards making sure my child settles in very well. Makes a lot so of sense. So thank you very much All for right. that, Moses. We are coming along. And as we continue this conversation, make sure you join our conversation and send in your comments on our SMS line 21144 and in all our social media handles at GBS TV Africa. Now, as we go on, Moses, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy because I'm even feeling like it's me you're preparing okay. to get into <laughs> this. <laughs> to high school. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Let's talk about the support the, structures. Yeah, the support yes, um, support structures are systems and routines that are put in place by schools, mm -hmm. and I'm saying good schools mm -hmm. that um, have have these systems because other schools are also not playing, uh, you know, the right role mm -hmm. in settling these students. Mm -hmm and setting up them up for success. Yeah. So by support structures, I mean those systems and routines that are put in place by the schools to assist the learner to not just survive within the four years, mm -hmm. but also thrive uh, in that school. Live and thrive. Yes, <laughs> thrive and do well in the, yeah, in the yeah. school. Uh -huh. So wh which are some of these structures? Um, there are those schools with very robust uh, systems, uh, a good example is on counseling, mm -hmm. a robust counseling department mm -hmm. where students' issues are dealt with properly and with a lot of professionalism. Mm -hmm. And some of these departments have even been made wider by recruiting peer uh, counselors uh -huh. such that a student, when they join in Form 1, they are located a peer counselor. Uh, a group of five for one peer counselor, another group of five for one peer counselor. Are they the ones we used to call PR? PR? Which time were you in school? Anyway, let's go on because I think we're in a different system. Uh, never, never, different never. Era. Okay. Um, so, <coughs> those ones, they help the learner, the, the form ones to settle very fast. Mm -hmm. So, if they have issues they mm -hmm. need to, to talk about, mm -hmm. then they have these peer counselors to talk to. And uh, if there are serious cases that the peer counselors are also not able to deal with, they're mm -hmm. able now to take that to the, the uh -huh. counseling um, okay. teachers who can take that on further. Mm -hmm. And others have, um, they do this, they call it buddy system, buddy or friend system. Mm -hmm. where, um, oh. When a student joins, mm -hmm. they, are, they are attached to a senior student mm -hmm. who is a buddy, a friend, oh, a friend. to uh -huh. take them through the first few weeks mm -hmm. of high school, guide them. Um, they come in, they don't know where the dining hall is, um, they don't know what time to wake up, what, what time to sleep. You know, those things are, are told to them by the buddies. Mm -hmm. And some other schools do it nicely. Before they even allocate the buddies, mm -hmm. they take the Form 1s to a school tour. They teach okay. them, they tell them, this is the dining hall. Mm -hmm. you, you come here, this is the program for the dining hall. Mm -hmm. This is our menu for the, for the whole week. Mm -hmm. And it repeats every week, right? They are taken to the principal's office. This is the principal's office. Mm -hmm. You know, there are students who join from one and they've never gone to, to the principal's office for four years. Mm -hmm. they, they are shown where the, the infirmary is, the sanitarium. If you're sick, this is where you come everything. Mm -hmm. So the students said it was easily because they feel they understand the environment. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you think of um, other, other, other domains like the academic uh, success, mm -hmm. there's an important point I want to mention here. Mm -hmm. It's called setting expectations, academic expectations. And this, some, some people just call it targeting. Mm -hmm. Some schools do it very early. They do it during the very first week where they, s they help the students to set academic targets or exam targets, mm -hmm. both internal and even in the national exam. Mm -hmm. The first day they join, wow. they, they, they set a target for the grades they want uh, in the next internal exams mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also at the, mm -hmm. at the final exam. Mm -hmm. That helps the student to remain on toes That's for true. the next four years. Mm -hmm. right? Some even go ahead to talk about the careers 
the very first week so that the student's mind is now focused into learning so that by the next next week when the academic start, mm -hmm. that is when the teacher of physics now gets into class, mm -hmm. the child is ready and waiting. Mm -hmm. They already understand what physics is. They know it's a subject in science. At least a bit of introduction has been done during the orientation. Yeah. So that's why I was I was very keen on uh -huh. the student being able to join within the very first first uh -huh. week. Now, think of other uh, other ways of helping the student to thrive, mm -hmm. changing the student's mindset. Yeah. Now, the student is, is probably coming from a school uh, where it's all about grades. Obviously, even in high school, it's all about grades. Mm -hmm. But um, there's, there's a new trend in the teaching and learning where we are not focusing on the result as, as such, mm -hmm. but on the process. So we need that mind sh mindset shift mm -hmm. where the student is able to appreciate the process of learning so mm -hmm. that they enjoy their learning. Mm -hmm. Once they enjoy the learning, mm -hmm. the results will come. Okay. Now, the teacher has a huge role on that. Mm -hmm. The teacher is an expert. He's been trained properly. He's an expert in his area. Mm -hmm. He's able to make the concepts relatable to what the child can understand mm -hmm. within their local setting. You know, uh, if you're teaching physics, mm -hmm. uh, it's not this out-of-world concept. No, no, no. It's able to make it relatable and interesting to the learner. Mm -hmm. so that the learner enjoys the process. Okay. That's, that's now for the individual teacher mm -hmm. to work on. Um, it's, it's for the individual teacher to do their best, mm -hmm. you know, to let the students understand the concepts, but also relate to those mm -hmm. concepts. Mm -hmm. um, other than setting the targets, mm -hmm. uh, which we call academic targets, because mm -hmm. I was saying those are academics, they are also uh, setting... Um, behavior expectations mm -hmm. and i don't want to call them rules because rules are there to be broken yeah. we just call them expectation mm -hmm. because if you focus on positivity then the student is likely to remain positive and behave in a positive manner That's other true. than when you focus on don't do don't do don't mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. they, they are likely to do what you've just told them not to that's true so the other thing is positive narration mm -hmm. and that revolves around matters behavior management positive narration when the students come in do you tell them things not to do or you tell them things they need to do? You know, narrate the positives. Mm -hmm. I am happy you joined us. Mm -hmm. I am happy you woke up early today. I am happy you came to class and settled early. Wow. Positive thinking, okay. positive narration, mm -hmm. positive talk. Mm -hmm. That encourages a learner mm -hmm. to behave as expected. Mm -hmm. But if you keep focusing on you did this today, you did that yesterday, all that the students becomes pulled or is pulled more towards the negatives mm -hmm. so it's a whole issue that we can discuss some other time on behavior management yeah. and focus mostly on what makes a progressive happy school you've heard of a happy school and especially with the young children you want a happy school where students feel happy mm -hmm. being in school mm -hmm. you cannot achieve that unless you adopt that aspect of behavior management we call it positive narration okay. where you, you are focusing on the good things reinforce the good things and by so doing you're able to um, you know you know brush off or fight off the the, the, the wrong things that the students may want okay. to do okay okay this is I wish it's going on and on because this is very important and okay. especially that bit on behavior management. Yes. But time is not on our side. I see. So I wish you could just give your parting shot and we hope we can do this some other time, especially that sure. bit. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. I think we can uh, arrange on that mm -hmm. um, so that we also talk about the culture. Yeah. But uh, I want to give a word of caution to uh, our dear parents. Mm -hmm. This is a time that... Um, very many people can take advantage of the situation, mm -hmm. knowing that you are all under this pressure to get your child to school, and mm -hmm. then someone tells you, you saw me on TV, I talk to schools, I get children to the school, so just give me this amount, and then I'll get your child to this school. That will not happen. You'll only get a chance if and only if there's a chance in that school. Mm -hmm. So don't get... Um, don't, don't get taken advantage of mm -hmm. by these people uh, masquerading as you know, Experts. people who could assist you mm -hmm. to get a chance in another school. No, yeah. no, no. Uh, I would just caution the parents to be keen um, and, and know that everybody is looking for money. Uh, some in the wrong ways. Just focus on what you want. You have decided this is school, 
get the items, take your child to school, avoid the side shows, you know, get this to do this, get this to do this. No, no, no. You'll waste a lot of resources uh, if you get caught up in that whole milieu of things. Wow, I love that All portion. Right. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, my dear viewer, and also you, Moses. Thank you All for right. honoring us with this whole uh, wisdom. Thank you. Because for sure, some would not even have known that they would be taken advantage of if yes. they keep leaning to the wrong side. You know, sure. Yeah, yeah. So thank you very much for this information. It's been an honor. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much, my dear viewer. It's been awesome being here on this side, learning as you are also learning. And we've gone through a lot. I hope you've taken note of everything, including that bit that there's a lot in the economy. So be very keen. Don't be wasteful. Make sure you're doing uh, everything to the best of your ability and for the best of your child because you are setting them up for success at the end of the day. And when you talk of success, it's not just the academic bit of it, it's even in building their character. So it's been awesome. Make sure the conversation is continuing on our social media handles at GBS TV Africa, and even on our SMS line, two double one double four. So it's been an honor, and until next time, we'll bye-bye.